What's going on guys, this is Sam, and there is a huge new bug in the latest versions of macOS High Sierra. The public version is 10.13.1, the current public and private beta versions are 10.13.2. This is a really big deal. Anyone can get root access to your computer without using a password. I'm going to show you how you can protect your computer before Apple releases the official fix, and also just show you that this is actually a real issue. So if I want to change my password for my own personal account, right here, I've got it blurred out, I can reset the password without needing to know anything because the account I logged into, here's some b-roll, you can log into any account on the computer from the login screen if you, for example, restart your computer, by typing in root and not putting in a password and hitting enter once or twice. And once I log in as root, it's really easy to change the other user's passwords on the computer to gain access to all of their personal information. You go to system preferences, users and groups. I'm gonna click on me right here, which was the only account that I ever use on this computer. Reset password. We're gonna make my new password one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's verify that. And then we're just gonna put the password hit as a uh, I know. Change password. Now that I changed the password on this, I'm going to go ahead and log out of this account. It'll take just a few seconds here. And I am going to try to log in to my account, Sam's account, using my new password that I got by logging in as root, changing that password. And as you can see, one, two, three, four, five, six. I am in to my own personal account that I technically did not even know the password for by logging in as root, changing the password, and now I'm in. So here I am, on a desktop of an account that I didn't know the password to. All I had to do was log in as root, change the password, and I have access to all of my files. If I go into this folder, for example, all of this, which is just normal images that I use on my site, could be accessed by anyone in the entire world, which is obviously a huge problem, it's super uncomfortable. I did notice that it doesn't look like you can get into the Photos app, it needs you to re-enter your iCloud password. So there is some layer of security here, like there's a little bit left, it's not complete and absolute access to everything, uh, especially when it comes to iCloud stuff, I'm gonna hit later on that. But I can get to all these files and, for example, just pull up images like that on my computer to an account that I did not have access to. I entered one, two, three, four, five, six, the password that I changed it to, not my actual password for my account, which is obviously a huge issue. Now that we've taken a look at the issue, I wanna go ahead and show you guys how to fix it. So if you go over to system preferences, go back to users and groups, this is sort of a weird process, but this is how you change it. You're gonna click the lock to make changes. It's gonna ask you to enter this info. Um, you can leave it your own info, or you can just prove that it works again and type in root and you have complete root access to your entire computer. Still blows my mind this is really happening. Uh, to change something next, you wanna go over to Login Options and then click on Network Account Server. Hit Join and then it's gonna ask you to enter a server. Don't worry about that, just click on Open Directory Utility. Now from here, you need to click the lock again. I'm gonna type in root. There we go, just like that. And then I am going to click here on Edit and Change Root Password. So go into Directory Utility and change the root password to something because right now it's not anything. I'm going to change it to my actual password that I use on my computer. Hit OK and then go ahead and click the lock to lock things out. Now if we go back here, we're going to click the lock one more time. We used to be able to just type in root and it would let us in. But as you can see, we changed the password so it's not going to let us in anymore. Even if we continue, we hit unlock because we set a password now it's going to be just fine. So that is how you protect yourself from this massive issue. If you're on macOS High Sierra, please do this immediately. Uh, I'm not making this video so that other people can hack into your computer. I'm making this video so that people know about the issue and know how to fix it because this is a big deal. Like, you could have really important files that now apparently anyone can get to. As I was putting this video together, I tried the same root hack on my MacBook Pro, and it works when you're in the users and groups section, but I realized that on every Mac by default, I believe the show input menu and login window option is disabled by default. On my MacBook Pro, if I enable that option, you can see that there is this other user where you can log in as root from the Mac lock screen, but that's not always gonna be the case. So if you want extra protection or at least an extra layer of protection so that someone can't change your admin password just from the Mac lock screen, go ahead and disable the option titled show input menu and login window. Most Macs have that disabled by default, but just to show you once again, an uncut version of me entering root, let's just say I walk up to someone's computer that happened to be open and I want root access, all I have to do is 
is click on the lock, delete the name that's in the username section, type in root, and I have complete access to that machine, which is ridiculous. Hopefully Apple responds pretty quickly to this issue because it is a big deal. If you enjoyed watching this or this helped you out, feel free to drop a like down below. And of course, subscribe for more videos on Mac and iOS in the future. I've been Sam, I hope you're doing great, and I'll talk to you in my next video.